Hello everyone and welcome back to Sharkcast. I'm Addison, your amazing host. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Today is episode 13 and today we're going to talk about Black History Month. We're going to talk a little bit about the canned food drive and some human facts. But for our big interview, we have Miss Bennett. Hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. This week, we continue talking about Black History Month. Muhammad Ali was one of the greatest professional boxers of all time. He was, he was an Olympic gold medalist and the first fighter to win the world heavyweight title three times. He was also a humanitarian and activist that advocated for civil rights and religious freedom. Ali earned the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005 and supported organizations like the Make-A-Wish Foundation and the Special Olympics. As a player for the Brooklyn Dodgers, Jackie Robinson was the first African-American professional baseball player in the U.S. Major League Baseball. After he retired, Robinson was dedicated to civil rights activism and worked to raise money for both the NAACP and SCLC. Hi, my name is Axel, and today I'll be talking about Barack Obama. Barack Obama is known for being the 44th president. Barack Obama is the first African-American president. Before before Barack Obama became president, he was a civil rights lawyer. He was elected in 2009 and was president until 2016. Now that you know some main facts about Obama, let's talk about his childhood. He was born in Honolulu on August 4th, 1961. He is still alive at the age of 62. Fun fact, Obama's vice president was Joe Biden, who is our, who is our current president. Good morning, Sandersville Sharks. The primary talent pool leadership students are hosting a food drive for God's Pantry. God's Pantry is an organization where you can donate food to people in need. It is located in central and eastern Kentucky. The food drive started yesterday, February 13th, and ends on March 24th. There are three blue barrels to put food donations in. Two barrels are in the front lobby and one barrel is in the back hallway across from the cafeteria. Our school is participating in this food drive challenge. There will be a $500 prize to the winning schools in each division and size group. You do not have to donate, but it would be well appreciated. We want to give a big shout out to Siga Darvo. We want to thank her for being the first person to donate food items. And thank you to the families who have already donated on the virtual food drive link. There are two ways to donate. You can bring food from home and place it in the blue barrels, or you can click on the link that Mr. Marsh set on Class Dojo dojo, and donate there. We have put signs on the barrels for food donation ideas. These are the God's Pantry's most needed items. We will be giving reminders throughout the six-week food drive process. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Let's go Sharks. New teacher who this, this be Miss Bennett. And me, myself, I'm here, Alpha, with Izzy. Hi. And Ava. Hi, guys. Today, as I said, we will be interviewing Miss Bennett. Miss Bennett, how are you feeling today? I am feeling great. I just cannot wait to um, answer some questions and have a good time. It's great that you came today. I'm happy that you're here with us. Um, Quick question. Because you're new, and not a lot of people know you because you're new, Mm -hmm. what is your position here? I am a fourth grade teacher right next door to Mr. Schaus's room. Yep. If you walk down the hallway, you will see her. She is on the right. Mm -hmm. I know one of your students... um, (laughs) Bryce Watkins, I just wanted to point that out there. Uh, Great student. I know you know him. I love that guy. (laughs) Um, How many students are in your class? I have 24 students. That's a a pretty good class. It's the perfect size. Yeah, I agree. It's nice and even. Why did you want to be a teacher here? Why did I want at Sandersville? 
Um, well, you know, I just have heard such great things about Sandersville. It has such great teachers, great administration. I heard that the kids are top notch. And, um, well, it is, let's see, less than 10 minutes away from my house where my previous school was um, 30 minutes. So that also helped a little bit. What was your previous school? It was in Woodford County called Huntertown. I haven't, I haven't heard of that school before. I've heard. Yeah, it's also like a good me. school, too. Yeah. Um, what did, what made you come to Sandersville? I mean, like, other than that, like, is there anyone that said, like, convinced you? Like, mm. Yes, I, I did know some teachers here. Um, so, Miss Trennell, who's another fourth grade teacher. I Miss Trennell. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she really talked about how much she really enjoyed Sandersville. And, um, you know, so it, it, it came up, to, you know, I, I didn't actually accept the job until, I don't know, maybe a week and a half before school started. So um, it was kind of, um, a, a, you know, a very quick decision, but I'm so glad that I made it. And we're glad that you're here yeah, now. thank you. Or we wouldn't be doing this interview. <laughs> um, so how long have you been teaching? This is my 24th year. That's a 24 lot. Years. 24 years. 24 years is a lot. I love it. So, you know, it's so funny because the time just, like, passes by so quickly when you become an adult. It just passes by. In a blink of an eye, it's been 24 years. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, tell us about your family. My family. Okay, so I have my husband, Joe, and then I have two kids, one that is 24, and he, his name is Hunter, and he um, works with technology, um, does a lot of computer, uh, like coding, things like that, um, and then I have a daughter who's 15, and she goes to Lafayette, and she is in uh, ballet, the Ballet Dance SCAPA program, and she's also in the pre-engineering program. Ooh. Um, let's see. And that's, that's my family. And I have two dogs, Jax, um, and Poppy, and they're both Aust uh, Australian Shepherds. Shout out to Jo, her two daughters, and the most important part of the family, the two dogs. What would we do without them? That's right. Hello, dogs. <laughs> I'd play this for your hello. dogs. Please play this for your dogs. Oh, yeah. I definitely will. Oh, wait. Hold up. Do you play this for your class? I have played this for my class. Yes, I have. Does that mean you're subscribed? I am subscribed. Good, good. Just want to make sure everybody <laughs> like and subscribe <laughs> and ring that little bell. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your personal hobbies? Mm. Okay, so my biggest hobby is um, pickleball. I am 100% obsessed pickleball it's fun it is so much fun <laughs> haven't we done that in pe class yeah yes and next time you do it i will be more than happy to come and join you please do please yes. do that would be really you just cool. let me know <laughs> we're on day two and my we're on day two and day one is um my miss drummond's class pe and so come back day one okay you come and get me and i'll, I'll come anytime last year i had a pickleball match with um the gym teach the PE teacher and myself against two students. When I when I first heard pickleball, it was like a fever dream, because like <laughs> I immediately started assuming like people took balls that looked like pickles or rackets that looked like pickles yeah. and hit like a ball. A literal situation. Yeah. I'm so crazy do you know pickles. who the, what the game is named? Do you know who the game is named after? No. It's after the creator's dog. Their dog was named Pickles. Oh, that's cute. That's one theory, anyway. I re I really want Pickles. Pickles sound really <laughs> good. Yeah, Pickles are really good. But what is your favorite book? I don't really have a favorite book, but I have a favorite genre, and that is historical fiction. That's a good one. Yeah, I like history. Apparently, um, Bella likes historical historical fiction as well. Yeah. Um, I just really like period pieces. What? So, 
Is would you say reading's one of your personal hobbies? If yeah. so, well, what are some other personal hobbies you have? Oh, um, I drive my daughter to ballet all the time, and that takes up a lot of my time. Um, so it's either school, um, ballet, or pickleball. That's all I have time for. That's my life. Oh, and, and reading. reading. Yes. <laughs> so you really like pickleball and reading. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've got time for. Well, and are teacher. you reading a book right now? Um, no, I'm kind of in between books. Do you have any suggestions? Not for teachers, I'd say. But there are a lot of good kids' books out there. For everybody that is in second grade, the thing that got me into reading, every second grader needs to read this. I'm sorry, this is not a question for you. This is, please read Bigfoot Boy. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I searched for the third book for four years, and I finally Bigfoot found it. Boy. And... Mm, you're going to love that series. So do you have any recommendations for fourth graders? Oh, um, I didn't during the summer before grade. I went to fourth grade or third grade, my mom got me reading um, what they call Magic Treehouse books. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are good. Mm -hmm. I didn't read anything in fourth grade. Like Fourth grade was a time of me reading on my phone, and a lot of those books like aren't really interesting to people. Mm-hmm. I read more science fiction romance. I love romance. <laughs> did you watch the Super Bowl? And if you did, um, what team did you root for? I'm just not a football girl. Oh. Really? I'm a pickleball girl. It, no. uh, j Sorry. Just, <laughs> just say boo Eagles, please. To <laughs> just say that. I, I don't mind to say boo to the Eagles or boo to whoever. Actually, I do like the Buccaneers just because I lived in Florida for 20 years. Um, so the Buccaneers, I will root for. Yep. But that's that's about it. So that's the closest to football you're going to get. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Go about Buccaneers. What about that's any other start. sports teams? Mm, do you have any like, pickleball teams you watch? Um, you know, just individuals. There's not really teams. Um, people kind of play with um, – Sometimes they partner up. As, you know, people play with different partners, too. So there's not per se a team, if that makes sense. What's your favorite subject to teach? Oh, I love to teach reading and math. Those are my two favorites. And writing. I love to teach writing. Um, actually, that might be my number one, is writing. Wrong answer. Really? Science. Science. I always do you science. love science? I oh, do not science. like science. <gasps> you don't? I literally did not like it when I was in fourth grade. I was like, oh, get this over with right now. Bro, oh. it doesn't have to be fourth grade science. I mean, like, I love explosions in chemistry. Okay, yeah, I love that. chemical reactions. I love, like, I love learning about science no matter what it is. I just, oh, it's mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. Do you remember a lot from last year? Or did you take it out of your brain and um, throw it away? <laughs> there are eco sediment and sedimentary rock and stuff. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. I remember so we're, that. So we're actually learning about that right now. We're doing a, an activity. Do you remember doing the rock layers? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That one was really fun. Uh -huh. Hold up. Did you guys do the gummy worm thing? Or am I? No, we haven't done the gummy worm. Oh, no. We didn't do that. Not uh, this yeah. year. Not this no. year. Are you not going to mm -hmm. do it this year? I think we did something in place of it instead. What did you do? Well, I have to go back and look at my plans because I'm in the current. <sighs> it was so fun. I didn't get to do it, sadly. My group, somebody in my group made, like, you know, I'm not going to talk about it, but sadly, I, I didn't get to do it. I got to watch. You did? Yeah. Well, that's pretty nice. Sad times. <laughs> I'm sure there were a lot of good times. Okay, would you rather speed run? Are you ready? Sure. Beach or pool? Mm, beach. Okay. I can go to go to the pool anytime. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs are reliable. Personal maid or personal chef? Hmm. Let's see. Maid or a chef? Okay. Well, I think it takes less time to cook, so I'm going to say maid. Correct. <laughs> I love cooking. <laughs> um, rich or famous? Rich. Interesting. I mm. prefer not to be famous. That would not be good for Yeah, because people are just, like, surrounding you. Hot yeah. dogs or burgers? Burgers. I'm Fast. not sure what's in hot dogs. Mm. Dream hot home? dogs are weird. Dream home or dream vacation? Dream home is permanent. Well, semi-permanent. 
dream vacation is over quickly. TV show or movie? TV show. Do you have a favorite TV show? Um, well, right now, I always watch Netflix, as probably you guys do too, right? Yeah. No? Okay. Um, right now, it's uh, Firefly Lane. Um, that's kind of the series I'm watching right now. I'm trying to think. I can't really think of anything else. I've, I've re- actually been reading more than watching TV, to be honest. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. I watch YouTube shorts like it's TV. Like, but anyway, jungle or desert? Hmm. I think jungle. The desert is too dry. In the desert, you might die of thirst. Yes. But I'm I'm taking desert any day just because it's so humid and hot in the jungle. It's going to be, oh, I hate being sweaty. It, it smells bad, mm, and animals might, like, attack you because of that. There's more animals, and you could die like that. But there's all those layers. I mean, like. You can get under the under the bottom layer where the, all the trees cover you up. True. And it's not hot anymore. Maybe humid, but not hot. <laughs> anyway, we're going <laughs> to ignore that. Um, okay, this is a really big question because I can't even figure this out One myself. answer, one answer only. <laughs> McDonald's or Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Forget about Mickey D's Chick-fil-A all the way. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Chick Fil A sauce, the sauce of my dreams. You like the sauce? Oh yeah, I the like sauce I love with the sauces. fries. Mm. Yeah, I, I do like fries. the fries. Hold on. I up. prefer the um, actually their their wraps. Have you ever had their wraps before? No, um, no. Really tasty. Okay, um, really quickly, ha- would you rather have fries or nuggies? That we di- we didn't plan this one, but like. Mm. I think I'd rather have the chicken nuggets. Oh, uh, from yeah. where? From Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A, never yeah. McDonald's. Chick Fil A nuggets like, are great, uh, but like fries are just something like else. golden tier. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. it is, but the way they salt, fry, <laughs> the crunch, the crisp. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Is it just me? I can tell. Or does it feel like they dip? Is it like they dip their fries in like pickle juice or something? Because every oh, time I taste chicken. it. No, because every time I taste it, it feels like it's been dipped in pickle juice or something. <laughs> so, you know, they actually do soak their chicken in pickle juice. I want pickle yeah. juice now. That's what gives it that, like, really incredible salty flavor. Well, that's, you learn something new every day. Yeah. I'm getting really hungry from this interview. <laughs> Pickles, pickle juice, fries, burgers, like, jeez. <laughs> Since Valentine's just happened what did you get for valentine's day oh gosh what did i get i got lots of chocolate chocolate and can sugary candies oh i got a painting from a student and it was an amazing painting that's beautiful Um, from who Uh from jesse do you know jesse no shout out to jesse you a true one jesse jesse pool maybe she'll be an artist one day um, so that was that was like one of the most thoughtful um, Valentine's presents I've gotten was a, was a painting. It was an incredible painting as well. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, really quick question though, what's your favorite type of music, or do you? Or would Gosh, you know I have a lot of things that I like. Um, I love all different kinds of music. I like country. I like. Um, Let's see. I even like hip hop, some hip hop music. I like, I like uh, folk music. I like it all. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite type of band or any type of songs you like to listen to from the that kind of genre? No, nothing in particular. I just like you know, like all sorts of music. What's your favorite type of car? Favorite type of car? <coughs> um, well, I currently have a Jeep, and I Ooh, love that's Jeep. a good one. I love what color. Jeeps. It is gray. Well, I feel like green or orange Jeeps are the best. You like the orange? <laughs> green and orange, green as long orange. as it's really vibrant. Yeah. Um, so I think my next car, because when I get my next car, I think I'm gonna not have any kids at home. So I won't have to like do a lot of you know carpooling to ballet and back and forth and all over the place. So I think I'm gonna get a um, 
a Jeep. Um, I was about to say Wagoneer, but it's not a Wagoneer. It's a Wrangler, a Jeep Wrangler. I really like Teslas myself. You do? Yeah. Um, we, I just remembered something that I owe to a friend, Parker. He's also on Sharkcast if you listen to some of his episodes. Um, yesterday, we did a Thumb Wars, and I said if he won, then I would have to say who day um, on... on <laughs> On this week's episode, uh-huh. yeah, and he has ginormous thumbs. Looking at you, <laughs> <laughs> ginormous <laughs> thumbs, and he took me down immediately. And so, now uh, the price must be paid. I, I'm a man of my word today. <laughs> Who I feel disgusted. <laughs> I think you need to say it louder and prouder. Yeah. <laughs> Who day? Who day? <laughs> there we go. Oh. Um, after that tragic event, I, I, I'm going to recover for a little while. <laughs> Alpha, you're being dramatic. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Parker, I want to redo that. I want to redo that right now. But this time, rock, paper, scissors, because you have way too big of thumbs for me to win. <laughs> Maybe you could have a toe war. Ew. What? (laughs) (laughs) We gotta go, though. Any last words before we um, head off? No, it's just great to talk to you guys. Great to um, talk to you, too. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Love you, Bryce. (laughs) Yay! Bye, guys! Hello SharkCast listeners, I'm Arajani Blake and I'll be telling you two amazing facts about the human body. Every second, your body produces 25 million new cells. That means in 15 seconds, you will have produced more cells than there are people in the United States. The largest bone in the human body is the femur, also known as the thigh bone. The smallest bone is the stirrup bone, which is located inside your eardrum. Bye, SharkCast listeners. Wait up until next week, and I'll be telling you two more amazing facts about the human body. Hello, SharkCast. I have some upcoming events for next week. This Saturday, we have a basketball game at 9 a.m. at Dixie Elementary School. This uh, Next Monday, we have no school because it will be President's Day. Next Friday, we also have our third grade showcase. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. Bye.